assalamu alaikum class hope you all are fine today we are here to study about the fin rays and spines of the fishes let we start with the definition of the fin rays and spines firstly we will discuss about the fin rays what are fin rays all paired and median fins in bony fishes have long mobile filament like prolongations these prolongations are known as rays the movements of the fins are due to the action of the muscles with which these rays are attached and articulate these rays are flexible and the term ray is also applied to spines whether they are included within the membrane of a fin or not let me start with the types of fin rays there are different types of fin rays it is based on the dorsal fin shapes and variations many type of dorsal fin shapes the concave with smooth spine with serrated spine with long anterior ray simple unbranched ray thickened principal ray and branched ray the types of fin rays are soft rays hard rays spinous rays simple rays branched rays and a rudimentary rays the above described type of fin rays are chief types of fin rays are encountered the first type is the soft rays soft rays are often very thin flexible and most often branched you can see in the picture the soft rays are presented here the second type of fin rays is the hard rays hard rays are a number of soft rays united solidly when the number of soft rays are united solidly they compose the hard rays these are rigid unbranched and sometimes sharply pointed these are formed of cartilage when freed from the membranous sheath holding them clearly show the juxtaposed soft rays juxtaposed means to combine some perches and cisroida have such type of hard rays the outer most caudal fin ray called the principal ray it is also a type of hard ray the third type of fin rays is the spinous rays or fin spines spinous rays are made of bone tissues it is also known as actinotrichia the spinous rays are the bone tissues and these are harder and stronger than above cited rays these rays are usually not covered by the membrane of the fin they are often with secretions or teeth they are common in catfishes and these are cited in the fin formula by capital roman numerals 1 2 3 etc hard and soft rays can be distinguished easily okay the fourth type is the simple ray simple ray is either soft or hard 
these rays are flex flexible but without any branching at its tip in the anal these remain within the membranous covering in fin formula these are cited as lower case roman the rays of a fin are not at all uniform hard rays and branched soft rays or unbranched soft rays may be found together in two fins one following the other as in perches the fifth type is the branched rays branched rays is as the term indicates with branches either from the base middle or tip of the rays these are cited in the fin formula by arabic numerals 1 2 3 etc in this picture you can see the spines of dorsal fin spines of anal fin simple spines and branched spines so it is easy to differentiate between them uh, the next is the rudimentary rays the rudimentary rays are the under development rays and these are grading into different stages as the rudimentary rays are under development it means these are not truly developed and that's why these rays are generally excluded and having no fin formula the next is the caudal fin rays caudal fin rays are counted from the outermost to the inner ones including the smallest at the end of the fin base a good magnification is often needed for this count counting fin rays in the case of rayed dorsal fin the posterior most rays is taken as the first and the anterior is at the end means the counting in dorsal red fin is from posterior to anterior direction and in the case of anal fin the counting is from anterior to posterior direction so the question is how we can count and what is the fish fin formula which is help us to count the fish fin the fin rays formulas are given to save space spines are represented by roman numerals soft rays are in arabic when there are two dorsal fins counts are given for each separated by a plus sign fin symbols are d for dorsal a for anal fin pect for pectoral fin and pelvic for pelvic fin the fin formula counting of each fin each fin consists of number of spines and rays a fin may contain them both example is d13 12 a315 p6 v16 C nine. Now the D is for dorsal, A for anal, P for pectoral, V for ventral or pelvic, and C for caudal. And you have noticed that the other symbols are explained above, and the numer numeric numbers is in Arabic or. numeric numbers these are specifically for the type of fin rays 
the counting with the arabic 1 2 and 3 as you have seen in this um slide uh, the different type of fins are abbreviated as dorsal pectoral or p1 anal pelvic p or p2 caudal for c if a fish have two dorsal fin it is denoted by d1 and d2 hard rays or spines are generally written using roman numerals and soft rays are written using arabic numbers so this is the answer of the last slide that which number are used for which type of fins or rays here are some examples d v 8 it is a fish that has five dorsal spines followed by eight soft rays p 7 is a fish which has seven pectoral rays and no spine sometimes an oblique stroke is used to separate two types of fin rays instead of roman numerals for example D sixteen in the bracket three stroke thirteen. It is a fish that has three dorsal spines followed by thirteen soft rays. And the next example, according to this, is A seven two by five. It is a fish that has two anal fin spines and five. soft rays sometimes a vertical stroke is used to separate different fins such as rayed dorsal from the adipose dorsal or the spiny fin from the non spiny one the example of this is the fin formula for dorsal fin in the siluric fish may be d 1 by 7 vertical stroke 1 for example it has one spine seven soft rays and one adipose fin some other example a complete fin formula of a fish for example labiorohita is written as d3 13 p17 v9 A two five C nineteen or D sixteen three by thirteen P seventeen V nine A seven two by five and C nineteen. This means the labiorohita has a dorsal fin with three spines and thirteen soft rays. Pectoral fin with seventeen soft rays. pelvic fin with 9 soft rays anal fin with 2 spines and 5 soft rays and caudal fin with 19 soft rays since there are slight variations in fin rays between members of the same species the numbers of fin rays are generally provided in a range for example d10 to 13 a 10 to 14 and p 12 to 15 in the last let me have a brief introduction about the fish spines fish fins are composed of hard spines or soft rays covered with the translucent membrane spines sometimes called hard rays these are composed of a single shaft and are generally sharp and ridged but can be flexible in some species spines may be present or absent in fins these are usually on dorsal anal and pectoral fins and the spines are common in many bony fishes many time the fish spines evolved independently and some also associated with 
poison glands. Hope you are understand about the fish spines and rays. Uh, the spines, sometimes also called the hard rays, are composed of a single shaft and are generally sharp and ridged, but can be flexible in some species. Some species of a fish have modifications. These type of fishes allow their spines to perform secondary functions such as members of the trigger fish family can lock their spines up making it very difficult to remove them from any services they use for protection. It was all about the fish spines and fin rays. If you have any question you can ask. Thank you.